Turkey's first manned jet engine aircraft, her jet, successfully completed afterburner and go-around tests. An important stage has been passed in the project. Her jet jet evolution and light attack aircraft, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TUSAS, successfully completed afterburner and go-around tests. On the other hand, during the tests, it was seen that there were two pilots on her jet at the same time for the first time. In the statement made by Tai on the subject, it was emphasized that her jet continues its double cockpit, high power performance tests. Afterburner is known as a special system found on the jet engines of warplanes. This system is used to instantly increase aircraft speed and perform fast maneuvers. Although it increases fuel consumption, Afterburner is defined as a critical component to meet the sudden speed needs of warplanes and provide maneuverability. It is envisaged that her jet, which continues its high-power performance tests, will begin comprehensive maneuver tests prepared according to various scenarios after the completion of these tests. Her jet test pilots play an active role in calibrating her jet so that it can be used in jet training missions. Tai launched the Her Jet program to address the emerging potential in the market by using its cost-effective knowledge and experience in training aircraft, system production and design. Her Jet aims to design, produce, complete the qualification and certification activities of the new generation jet trainer aircraft, which will replace the T-38 aircraft in the Air Force Command's inventory and the F-5 aircraft used in aerobatic shows. Within the scope of the project, the completion of certification activities by the end of 2025 and the introduction of the jet training aircraft variant are among these targets. Configurations plan to be worked on. Transition to combat readiness training, light attack, close air support, opposing force task in training, air patrol, armed and unarmed, acrobatic demonstration aircraft, aircraft carrier compatible aircraft. Within the scope of the project, it is planned to produce two prototype flyable aircraft and one static and one fatigue test aircraft to be used in test activities.